Hi guys, just a quick one today. I'm going to show you this Blender plugin called Edgeflow. It basically replicates uh, the set flow in 3D Max and Maya. It's really handy to use, so yeah, check it out. So you can use it in a number of different situations. Say you've got some geometry that you want to kind of even out. So what you can do is if I select this, uh, oh, by the way, I'll add the description in down at the bottom where you can download it. Um, so yeah, say for example, you select this, this edge loop here. I can right click, set flow, and it will average out in the middle between the the correspond the parallel lines, which is really handy because if you want to clean up your topology, for example, you can do it quite easily with this. Um, as you can see, so really really handy. Um, cool. So you see what what happens here when this happens. You need to set the min angle. There we go, and that's fixed handy um, you can use it in situations like this as well so say for example you've got your curvature here let me change the mat cap so you can see it a bit better cool so say for example if I select go to object if I select now sorry I know this mat caps a bit annoying um, so if I now select these edges I'm not going to select these edges here because I want it to average out between these two edges so if I come through and select all the edges in between these two edges look what happens right click set flow put this down to zero it doesn't need to be like that and then I can just space it out and there you go boom perfect you can also use it here in situations like this so for example so I want to curve this, so um, let me show you this. So if I remove these lines here, now if I add some more, say like that, like that, like that. Now what I can do is, I'm not going to select this line because I want it to stay where it is. If I select these, I'm not going to select that because I want it to stay where it is. Right click, set flow, boom, and you can bring the iterations up really really handy really handy um, you can even use it here so uh, let me show you this so if I now add some loop cuts in here so this is now going to average out the curvature so select these we're going to not select these ones because we want we want it to curve from here to here basically nice right really handy really really handy plugin thanks